we had just arrived for lunch. Hello. Oh, how beautiful. Oh, it says love. Oh, the fishies. We saw dolphins. Oh, yes, we did. Yeah, yeah. Travelers, <laughs> we are at our first rice paddy having lunch. Oh, it's so beautiful. I hope the camera can pick it up. I don't know if you can see all the way out to the ocean. And that little hut that we're having lunch at. I'm having my first cocktail in like three days and I haven't even missed it which you know I have a glass of wine or two every night so I'm pretty impressed that I can come here and just feel so at ease that I have no problem with no alcohol but this time I am I just got myself a mojito mm -hmm. One more last look at the beautiful landscape. Daliha. Daliha. This part of our journey of release, rejoice, redesign was all about rejoicing. And this day was just about to be the most beautiful, most picturesque day we had ever experienced. We couldn't contain our excitement. Then we found ourselves at the King's Regal Summer Palace, known as the Water Palace. Like I said, there are so many stairs in Bali, but this was definitely one of the biggest. It was so sweet that they had these nice little statues along the way to encourage you to continue on. The payoff, however, was magnificent. Even the clouds participated in the beauty. And then... It is so green in the camera. Ready? 
96. 96 stairs? 96 stairs. <laughs> Hence me sitting on this block. <laughs> Just a few more steps, ladies, and you've almost made it. I love this picture of Lauren at the Water Palace. It's such a great example of why you want to bring simple, beautiful clothing on your trip. The photography at the Water Palace was stunning. No enhancements needed here. On to the next stunning location. And that's when we ran into this beauty doing her own personal photo shoot. And who could blame her? Her colors were spot on and it did look fabulous. And it went on, and on, and on. Congratulations. Thank you. Hi travelers, Kelly with Bucket List Retreats again. I know you've probably heard that a hundred times this week if you are following me around Valley. We are still at the King's Palace. <sighs> and I had climbed like 96 stairs to get up here, <laughs> but it was so worth it. Look at the view. Isn't that girl gorgeous? Ooh, she let me take her picture. She's like a model. She's so pretty and sweet. Everyone in Valley is super, super sweet. All right, well, I just wanted to give you a 360 view of this gorgeous palace. Do you see the volcano up here? It's just absolutely beautiful. And there is the rest of the view. Have a great day, everybody. Bye. Bye. Bud. Ooh, bud is what you smoke. Ooh, boot is where you go, according to my friend Kim. You know, it ended up being a place with a lot of firsts for me. I really fell in love with this gorgeous city. This is looking out our window into the monkey forest. A night of exotic dinner, exotic drinks, and exotic 
dancing. Take it away, ladies. really a show or a play talking about these two kings that were fighting over of course a beautiful woman and they were fun to watch but I really just enjoyed the dancers so much I wish they had just come back out Afterwards, they were kind enough to let us all take pictures with the cast. This day had started out at 5.30 a.m. with a ride on a spider boat to be with the dolphins and ended in Ubud at this magnificent dance and dinner. shot but I think it's hilarious we had a full day ahead of us as we headed out of Alam in Da have you heard of that hotel it's where Elizabeth Gilbert stayed at in We Pray Love and here were our first sighting of the monkeys even though we were on the edge of the monkey forest the hotel literally sits next to it this was the first time we saw them. And wouldn't you know, they would be eating gratitude baskets. We were headed across the street, back to Lake Lake, where we had seen the dancers the night before, to learn how to make these gorgeous gratitude baskets from the beautiful Balinese dancers themselves. Next, we were off to Bumi Sahat Birding Center and Clinic. We always include a charity, and this was the most awesome one. They provide 24-hour free birth and delivery in this gorgeous setting. We all rejoiced in having the ability to bring vitamins and blankets and plain old American greenbacks halfway around the world 
to help this worthy charity that provides these beautiful locations for women to give birth free of charge. Another thing that they do there is their state certified doctors also provide alternative medicine. I had my first, remember I said I had a lot of firsts in Ubud? I certainly did. I had acupuncture and they also did cupping on my back, as you see. It was also for a reasonable price and that supported the clinic too. I felt really great about that. My back did feel much better throughout the rest of the trip and about a week and a half after I got home. These two bruises did stick around for the rest of the week really, but the others were gone. Apparently that's the worst part of my back. Of course, we had to treat ourselves to a gelato for all of the trauma. Look at this little girl, isn't it adorable? And as if this day couldn't get any better, I met up with my friend, Jared Chiafalo. I interviewed him from around the world last year. I'll put a link in the description below. He is the soul trekker and writes for the Good Men Project. Check him out on Facebook. He took us to a wonderful restaurant where we had mocktails and some fabulous tacos. Everything was vegan and this chocolate cake and the coconut cake that we all shared was just fantastic. Jared, it was so good to meet you in person. Now I know you've noticed Kim in these vlogs. Kim has been our yogi our translator, her husband, and she used to live in Bali 19 years ago when they worked at Four Seasons. And now they've created their own company, Jammu and Organic Spa Rituals. Oh, doesn't that look lovely? That is a Javanese Lular massage and bath. We had one later in the week. You'll see it was fantastic. Kim really took advantage of all there was to offer as far as massage and treatment in Bali this week. She had seven massages in two weeks. Oh, this is so special. And who knew I was going to have a smoking bottom today? Ini ayu, selamat sore ayu. Dari selamat sore. Dari Alamwangi Traditional Spa di Ubud. We're at the Alamwangi Traditional Spa in Ubud. And Ayu has prepared the Ratus. Yeah. Ratus. Ratus Wangi. Ratus Wangi. Yeah. So, silakan. For, uh, for the woman? Yeah. Ratus Wangi bagus untuk uh, wanita. Wanita. Yeah. This is wanita. 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 Yeah. So I'm about to steam my bottom. Yes, I am. And then, and then IU has prepared this beautiful flower bath. I just had a Balinese massage and then a Lulu with the turmeric body scrub. And then this bath will be the final step, but now I'm going to steam my hoo-ha. So, terima kasih IU. Terima kasih Kim. Here are some of the beautiful salons that we visited throughout Bali. Kim went to a few more than the rest of us, but this was the one in Southern Bali that we visited. It was absolutely beautiful, indoor and outdoor. And each one was just so refreshing everywhere you went. This is the Four Seasons in Bali. So if you ever go there, check it out. Kim's company offers product that you can buy and create a spa ritual in your own home. And this is exactly what we did this night. Kim taught us everything we needed to know. She brought this beautiful leg and foot scrub that was so refreshing and so rejuvenating. She taught us how to apply it and how to rub it on the leg and massage it in with Kim's beautiful products and the instruction from the massage therapist in the group, we really had a treat that night. What a special spa night. 
by the next morning, Nicole, my roommate, and I had realized they would deliver breakfast to our room. So we had breakfast at our patio for the next three mornings as we watched the monkeys wake up. It was so wonderful. We just wondered, where is Elizabeth Gilbert? Doesn't she want to join us for breakfast? Then off we were for a day of touring beautiful valley. Enjoy some of the pictures we took. Good morning, travelers. Kelly with Bucket List Retreats. I am still in Valley, of course. It's a gorgeous morning. It'll probably get pretty hot later on, but it's really nice right now. And we are on temple tours all day today. We were off to see the next temple and had such a kick out of the things that we saw on the way. Gas anyone? Look at these guys. And do you need to go number one or number two? And speaking of poo, our next stop was where things were about to get a little strange. Have you heard of Luwak Coffee? from the poo cat, poo chino they call it, <laughs> from the poo of the luwa. Here we go. Good morning. And this is the Bali coffee. You can just smile. Come here, Maida. Bali coffee. I love Bali coffee. Okay, thank you, Madam. Oh, delicious. <laughs> and then I have the another species, the poop animal. The we the washing the many time by hot water until the clean, like this one, the clean, yeah. Um. And yeah, and then we just clean one by one by hand, like traditional, not with oh. machine. And then like this one, yeah, it's the clean. And then we the roast it one hours <coughs> until two hours. Mm. Until the brown color, yeah. And then with the roasted, finish the roasted with the ground it. Like this one. Uh huh. Her name? Luna. 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 Our host led us down the winding staircase to this stunning view where they had the most adorable coffee shop all set up and began to prepare the Luwak coffee for us all to taste. We and a uh, tea in here. I have a lemon tea, uh, ginger tea, and lemongrass tea in here. And this uh, mangosteen, mangosteen uh, tea uh, good for the skin. And then rosella tea good for the antioxidant and anti uh, and diet. Yeah. And this a uh, curcuma tea uh, good for the girl because a girl uh, have the menstruation. Maybe you can uh, help. This is the sick. You can just drink this and no sick. Mm -hmm. And then I have the coffee ginseng. Ginseng good for the stamina, good for remember, and good for the sweat. In Bali, good for the honeymoon. 
We are making cat puccino. Also known as Luwak puppy. How many clumps of food does it take to make one? Here we are trying our first cat puccino. Puccino. Meow. Shit happens. Shit happens. Oh, I love it. Thank you. Ooh, it's yeah. delicious. Yeah. You guys are all going to go with Taylor or I ended up spending more money at the coffee plantation than I did anywhere else on this trip. Things ended up getting a little campy after that. I just, it's a big problem, folks. You had no idea. The big, bigly, huge, huge, huge problem. <laughs> it's so big, there's drugs, there's crime, there's gangs. Have you seen Chicago? travelers we have made it to the water temple there is a Buddhist Hindu and Muslim temples here whoops here's the mosque right up there and I'm not sure where the other two are but it's just beautiful it's a gorgeous lake gorgeous mountain One great thing about being on retreat is you are not driving, so drinking is an option. You put the lime in the coconut and drink it all for me. Woo -woo. Is there nothing I can take? I said, doctor, to relieve this bellyache. Now let me get this straight. You put the lime in the coconut and drink it all Put the lime in the coconut.
off to our last temple of the day. It was going to be one of the most magnificent sunsets I had ever seen and definitely one of the most memorable. And just when we thought the show was over and we're ready to go, our driver Winston said, no, 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 ladies, wait for the show. And here they came, bats by the thousands that were in the caves just underneath us. Good morning, we are on the edge of the monkey forest. I think there's some monkeys up in that tree right there. Anyways, there's a guy sitting right over there on that fence. But we are going to lure them in with our offering baskets. Monkey see, monkey do. Oh, oh. Good for you, little monkey. No. <gasps> Bibi. Bibi monkey. It's empty. Okay. Okay, we got enough monkeys here. Now. Okay, I think we did our job. <laughs> what's in the cage right yeah, there? Yeah, what's in that cage? I never noticed. Me either. Okay, that's the monkeys headed to our room. Yeah. <laughs> I think the door is open. No, I closed okay. it, but all she's going to do is walk through it like it's not locked. Hey, girl. Oh, crap. Maybe we should... How are you going to get past the monkey? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm in my pajamas. And you in your PJs. Right above your head. Are you coming or what? <laughs> He's gonna feed me first. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good picture. Hey, hey, hey! How close you gonna come to my room? Are you monkeys? That was a nice job. You guys are going to get in trouble. <laughs> it's time to quit monkeying around because it is breakfast time and here it comes once again on our beautiful patio. Fresh fruit cut beautifully scrumptious pineapple smoothies and pineapple crepes, poached eggs. It couldn't be better. But we were getting our strength up to head back over to La Leque, have a beautiful iced coffee, put on a sarong, and learn to dance like the Balinese dancers themselves. Ha ha ha!
surprise. We finally started getting the hang of it, but let me tell you, we had worked up a sweat. Those ladies really are doing a lot harder work than it looks like. Thank you so much, Lake Leke. Then we were off for two appointments. The first at the spa. Yes, I got a Balinese massage and bath. It was heaven and got me all mellowed out for what I was about to do. Our next appointment was downtown at Mike's Tattoo. Yes, I was going to remember this trip etched on my skin for the rest of my life. roommate Nicole was sweet enough to let me get the same one that she had already chosen. I just thought the design was beautiful. Thanks Nicole. I told you I had a lot of firsts in Ubu. with bucket list retreats. Guess what I did in Bali? I got my tattoo. <laughs> my roommate and I did that. So we are connected forever. We got the same tattoo. But I just really wanted to show you our room here at the Eat, Pray, Love Hotel. This is our porch where we have been having breakfast every morning. And this, my friends, is the monkey forest. We had quite the experience with monkeys and I will be putting that in my video vlog. So stay tuned for that. But of course, we have this beautiful fountain with the gorgeous lotus flowers right here outside our front door. This is where the fish is in there. And if you look down there, that is the pool and that's where I am headed to meet my roommate. But I just love how everything is so decorated. We watch a guy putting together a rock wall like this. It's truly a work of art. It's just really beautiful. So I love, oh, there's a little gecko. Guy. But here's how you walk up to our room. Isn't it just beautiful? So and there's my gorgeous friend, Nicole. Isn't that the most beautiful pool area? And this is where we had the monkey encounter. They come right over that wall in the morning if you put a little piece of fruit out, which you're not supposed to do. And it's going to be a great day. This is our last day here, and we are headed to the south, to the beach. Rejoice, rejoice, rejoice. That's what this part of the journey was all about, and that's definitely what we did. Namaste. Hi travelers, if you enjoyed this vlog, please give me a thumbs up and look forward to next week. Be sure to subscribe so you get an email when it is posted. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.